Hey guys, welcome to vtcacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to solve few examples on factorization. So here solve x square plus ax plus a square divided by x square minus ax plus a square equal to 13 divided by 7. Now let us cross multiply this. So here by multiplying 7 with the expression x square plus ax plus a square we get 7x square plus 7ax plus 7a square equal to and here by multiplying x square minus ax plus a square with 13 we get 13x square minus 13ax plus 13a square. Now let us bring the terms of RHS to the left hand side. All the symbols here get changed and we can write this expression as 7x square plus 7ax plus 7a square minus 13x square plus 13ax minus 13a square equal to 0. So now let us group the like terms over here. So here we have two exit terms 7x square minus 13x square plus we have here two ax terms 7ax plus 13ax. And here we have 2a square terms 7a square minus 13a square equal to 0. And here 7x square minus 13x square would be minus 6x square. And here plus 7ax plus 13ax would be plus 20ax. And 7a square minus 13a square would be minus 6a square equal to 0. And now if we take minus 2 as a common factor from this expression we get this as minus 2 into 3x square minus 10ax plus 3a square equal to 0. And here if we transfer minus 2 to the other side it becomes 0 and we can write this expression as 3x square minus 10ax plus 3a square equal to 0. So now let us factorize this expression. Now here we have the coefficient of x square as 3 and the constant term as 3a square. On multiplying this we get 3 into 3a square as 9a square. So let's write the factors of 9. So here the factors of 9 are 1 into 9 and 3 into 3. And here minus 1 and minus 9 would be minus 10 which is the coefficient of x. So we can write this expression as 3x square minus ax minus 9ax plus 3a square equal to 0. So here from the first two terms we can take x as a common factor. We get this expression as x into 3x minus a and here by taking minus 3a as a common factor we get minus 3a into 3x minus a equal to 0. And again if we take 3x minus a as a common factor we get 3x minus a into x minus 3a equal to 0. Now here to find the value of x let us equate the both factors with 0. We get here 3x minus a equal to 0 or x minus 3a equal to 0. And here if we transfer a to the other side we get 3x equal to a and again here if we transfer 3 to the other side we get x equal to as a by 3. And coming over to here if we transfer minus 3a to the other side we get x equal to 3a. So we get the values of x as a by 3 and 3a. Now let us proceed and solve another example over here. So here we have solve a minus x whole square plus b minus x whole square equal to a minus b whole square. So here if we observe all the terms of the expression are in the form of a minus b whole square which is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So here a minus x whole square would be a square minus 2ax plus x square and here b minus x whole square can be written as b square minus 2bx plus x square and a minus b whole square can be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. So here a square and a square get cancelled on the both sides and here b square and b square also get cancelled. So here we have two x square terms and we can write this expression as 2x square minus 2ax minus 2bx and if we bring minus 2ab to the left hand side it becomes plus 2ab 
equal to 0. And here, if we take 2 as a common factor from all the terms, we get 2 into x square minus ax minus bx plus ab equal to 0. And here, if we transfer 2 to the other side, we get it becomes 0 and we get this as x square minus ax minus bx plus ab equal to 0. And here, from the first two terms, if we take x as a common factor, we get x into x minus a and here if we take minus b as a common factor we get minus b into x minus a equal to 0 and again here if we take x minus a as a common factor we get x minus a into x minus b now let us equate this both the factors with 0 we get x minus a equal to 0 and x minus b equal to 0 so here if we transfer minus a to the other side, we get x equal to a and here if we transfer minus b to the other side, we get here x equal to b. So here we get the values of x as a and b. So this was a basic introduction on how to solve an example on factorization. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.